Hey everybody, so today I'm going to film a short video, but what I've installed is an um, exit sign, as you can see. So it's not even installed. Yeah. But, uh, I got this at Home Depot. I uh, surprised they sell those there. Decided to get the Star Starbucks variant, which means it has the green and black coloring. I believe you can switch it from green to red or red to green. And um, I didn't want to wire it into my home's electrical infrastructure, so I got a spare extension cord. Oh, jeez, that scared me to death. Oh my god. Uh, that scared me to death. Careful with this thing. Um, so I got a spare, exten spare extension cable. I cut off the extension part, and then I split the wires. And I noticed that it doesn't really matter negative or positive. So I just hooked them up to the 120 volt wire nuts they included. So apart from the exit sign I have upstairs, I actually used to have a, an emergency light mounted. On top of the mirror, wasn't even wall mounted, I just put it on top of the mirror. It fell. So, yeah. So, over here, above the networking cabinet, I'll show you. Yeah. It's just a normal networking cabinet. It's just not close. Above the networking board, the Ademco alarm panel, we have a emergency light. Just clean up. So, as you can see here, the wire that's 120 volts, am I right? Uh, extension cord runs all the way down into the metal cabinet. The networking cabinet, there's a power outlet in there. There's the Ademco so power supply and surveillance camera, power adapter. So here's the emergency light, as you can see. This is a button on top that says push to test. Some blinding. Like I can look at it and my eyes will start burning. But yeah, it's an LED emergency light. It provides a lot of power. I'll test the exit sign so you can see. So these units have a battery backup inside. Oh yeah, this is the AC power indicator. So yeah, these have a battery backup inside. Just in case you uh the power goes out, stays on. Let me open up the exit sign for you to see. If I can find the flathead screwdriver. Captain. You could pop out an arrow on this exit zone, so as you can see, took it off. Um, there is a switch inside, the switch colors, but then you also need to switch out the exit zone black, the color black, so you just clip this back on. Okay. <clears throat> I managed to do that with the screwdriver instead of the flathead one. 
Now we have one final emergency light unit located downstairs. So. Let's go in there. <clears throat> Here's the Adamco security pad. So this is the extension cord that powers the surveillance camera and the emergency cord. So the wire goes across. It's not the most elegant solution, but I put it here for like a few, few months already. This goes to the surveillance camera. And this goes to the emergency light. Okay, here's the emergency light. I'm going to test. It can make it glitch out. <laughs> I'll, but I'll simulate uh, a power failure. <clears throat> so I kind of want to unplug it. I think I just killed the power to the camera too, but whatever. I'll plug it back in. Shuts back off. Do the same for the exit sign. If you hear that, uh, my, no my voice sounds sick, it's because I am. Uh, I hate school. Uh, okay, so here's the exit sign. Uh, we are now on battery backup. Okay, and back on AC power. And so I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.